Hey guys, Chris Mufu here. Welcome to part 1 of a new tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install macOS on your PC. Uh, basically, you dual boot it with Windows 7 and Mac OS X. So I'm here on my brand new computer, it's really awesome, uh, in Windows 7. So you need some files and let's go get it. So first, you want to go to tonymac86.com uh, uh, slash downloads. Uh, the link will be in the description below. Alright. So once you're in there, you want to go log in, and so uh, I'm gonna just log in right now. E, sorry, wrong username. All right, so log in if you're using a password. You have to sign up. Sorry, I forgot about the one. Um, so once you've signed up, logged in, you'll be brought to this page. A couple of things. First, bring up iBoot. Uh, get, okay. So first, download iBoot. Click on it. Click on the link. Download. All right. So I'm not gonna download it since I have it already. Uh, get multi beast 3.9.1. Make sure you get 3.9.1 and not 4.1.0. They're different things, alright? So, open link a new tab and yeah, download this or so. Once again, I'm going to do it because I have both. And finally, if you have a Sandy Bridge, Sandy Bridge computer like mine, I'm running i5, you can download uh, Update Helper 2. Alright, we can do it again, of course. And finally, official uh, NVIDIA drivers. Alright, so they're a couple, you just want to, uh, well, not really a couple, you just want to get this one. So if you have NVIDIA graphics card like mine, just click download and yeah, I can download all that stuff. Alright, so once you have the four files, basically multi beast 3.9.1, iBoot, uh, NVIDIA, and Update Helper, you are all set to go except, oh sorry, yeah, of course you have to copy all of these files into maybe a thumb drive. So get the thumb drive, drag those files in. Next, uh, you want to update, after installing Mac, you want to be able to update to 10.6.8 so you just want to go to apple.com uh, apple and uh, download 10.6.8 combo update once again links will be in the description below this one all right so two links basically dot slash downloads and this one uh, click on download it's a really quite a big file it's actually one it's it's 1 1.9 one uh, one gig basically and so it's gonna take some quite some time so you must have like maybe I guess a two gig uh, thumb drive and above to store all the stuff that you need. All right, so basically you just need this few things, and after that you're all set to go. So dump them into a thumb drive, and yeah. All right, uh, before that, however, I forgot. Of course, go to this management in e. Where is it? This management. There you go. Okay, right. Take this management, and you see, come come to this create and format hard disk partitions. Click on that, and you'll be brought to this management. Alright, so as you can see, you have a couple. Uh, I already for, uh, partitioned my drive, but as you can see there, you for you 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 would not have this one here. You wouldn't have this um, three two six gig drive here. You just have the C drive here. What you want to do is, as you can see, I have the C drive here. Right click it and click shrink volume. Alright, then you'll query volume for the available space shrink. Alright, taking some time. Alright, so. Um, now uh, previously I had a one terabyte hard drive, which means I have n I had nine I had nine hundred ninety nine gig, so I shrunk it to six hundred and five gig, while uh, while remaining my other one at three. Uh, sorry, I sh shrunk it to six hundred and fifty gig, while this one had three hundred and fifty gig, so that made up about one thousand gig. All right, so what you want to do is you want to shrink your volume. So I'm not going to do it really, but I shrunk it really, so shrink it. And then after that, once you shrink it, you get something like this. But however, of course, yours will be bigger. Like I had three hundred and twenty six gig of unlocked space. Right click on it and click new simple volume, click next, click next and assign whatever letter you want, I'm gonna name it X, A click next, A and I'm gonna just type in uh tutorial space, tutorial space. Alright, so just do that, click next, finish, and you have you see formatting and blah 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 tutorial space X. Alright, so thanks for watching part one. Uh, okay. Thanks for watching part one of this tutorial. I uh, click on the link here to go to part two of this tutorial, in which I actually show you the actual installation of Mac OS X on your Windows PC. Thanks for watching, guys, and sorry to talk very fast, but such a rush to the whole thing. I'm not sure why. And have a nice day. Bye.